can't believe this death rig. I picked this up the other day. Let's have a look at it so you know what not to do when you're tying your carp rigs. So I managed to rescue this mess from a fish the other week. My hook actually got caught up in the line, this tangled mass of line, and uh, I managed to get the fish in. Now this rig is just an absolute death trap. The actual hook itself, I mean, that's not badly tied. You know, there's a kicker on there, the coating's been stripped back, the other end's got a neat knot with a little bit of shrink tubing over it. It's actually a pretty well tied rig. Even the swivel has come out of the housing. And that lead really should have dropped. Now the one thing that's stopping it and what's turned it into a death rig is a split shot behind the tubing to make sure that the tubing sinks to the bottom. That is an absolute no-no. Anything behind the rig tubing that will impede it falling off should not be there. That is absolutely incredibly stupid thing to do. Putting a split shot on there, it's turned the rig into a complete death rig. And that line breaks above, that cannot come off because of that. Because of that split shot. And that is now a, just adding that split shot, turn this into a complete death rig. So if you tie your rigs, under no circumstances should you be putting a split shot or a stop knot, anything that's semi-permanent semi or permanent above your rig tubing. The rig tubing and the lead has got to be able to slide off. Okay, so that's an example of a death rig. As you can see, the fish that I accidentally hooked has had a lucky escape there. It went back, none the worse for its wear at the end of the day. But that's a death rig, and that's not what you should be using. If you want to know how to set up an inline lead properly, there's a video there in the top right hand corner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.